hello welcome back to this channel um this is high blessing all right um in this video i'm going to show you how to make a glass muffle seam design okay please if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe to the channel like this video drop a comment at the comment section below and thank you so much for doing that all right in this video the apps we'll be making use of is the pixel lab app and photo room app okay so let's get started let me get this out of my canvas so the first thing i'm going to do is to import the background i'll be using from gallery background i'm making use of um, let's see i want to make use of this this background so this is background i want to make use of so the first thing i'm going to do you might if you have a background you are making use of like this Alright, you can also have a design you want to make use of. I want to place a glass muffle scene on. Alright, so once that is done, make sure that it is saved to your gallery. Save as image to gallery. Alright, save as image to gallery. Make sure you save as image to gallery. So once um, that is done, create a shape. Let's see, let me give it a radius. Let's see, radius of 30. Radius of 30. Then um, you centralize the shape. Then duplicate um, the shape. Alright. Then you hide the first one. And centralize the second one. Make sure the first one is centralized and the second one also is centralized. So for this shape, which is the second one, we are going to edit it. So you are going to um first thing is to reduce um the opacity. Reduce the opacity to zero. Go to the stroke, give it one or two. Let's leave it at one. The stroke which we leave it at sorry two and um, give it a white color give the stroke a white color all right that's color white okay then you add shadow to the stroke add shadow to the stroke all right you can blur radius can make this video it down to four let me see four yes then then open the first shape hide the stroke then give the background a png because we want to save it to gallery save the first shape as png to your gallery all right then you go to you, you let me on my data you go to um, photo room app so this is photo room app Alright, so you click on start from photo. So you give the background, the background you um, you saved to your gallery, the background you saved initially, you give it a blur effect. Alright, so this is your photo room. So you're gonna you are gonna make use of the background you saved before initially. Maybe the first thing we did was to save the background to your image all right to so save it you save your background to image to your gallery all right so you click on it all right what we are making use of is the blur effect the blur we just want to blur it so you wait for it to load you can't make use of any of this so we're just going to go to the photo editing all right. all right let's make use of this let's make use of this all right so the first thing i'm going to do is to i'm going to give both the objects and the background a blur effect all right so from the object we go to blur all right you have different kind of blur effects in photo for the upper face, we're going to be giving this is not hexagon, not square, not box, not disc, but um, 
a Gaussian blow effect. A Gaussian blow effect. Alright, so let's leave it at this point. The next is the background also. I'm going to give it a Gaussian blur effect too. Okay, so I guess this is nice. Uh, this is what we're trying to achieve. Then you save to your gallery. Remember, it's the Gaussian blur effect you are making use of. So once that is done, you go back to your Pixel Lab app. Now you are going to delete this shape. Let me or let me hide this. Delete the shape. Go back to your image. Get the image from the gallery again. But for your background, remove this off. Alright, this is it. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to import the shape that we saved to Pixel Lab. Import the shape we saved to Pixel Lab. This is the shape. Then give it a big size. Add the Gaussian texture. Add the Gaussian texture to the shapes you just imported to my photo room folder. Photo room folder. Right. So you can see. can see it has been added then let's lock lock it delete this all right so once that is done you can see the last movie scene is already coming out so open the image the um gaussian the stroke all right the stroke but before then let me add color to this let me lock this again let me add color to this shape let me add color let me give it a white color at this point we're going to reduce the opacity all right, so it's look more of a morphism uh, there are a lot of the different morphism you have the clear morphism you can make it clear like this or you can make it a full state morphism i right, guess this is okay it's better and right, so once that's done the next for you to do is to um open the stroke Make it visible. Uh, make it visible. Then make sure the shape here is locked. Open the stroke. Then make it to be at the center. And make it to be at the center. So for the stroke, let's let's edit it a bit. Let's say let's give it a blur radius so it to look more. Of, let's say one. One should be okay. To move, look more of a morphism, have more of a morphism look. Alright, let's centralize. Centralize. So. Alright, you can also. Alright, you can also add a different color to your stroke. You could make it gradient. Alright, you could make it make it you give it a gradient color i mean for the stroke you give it a gradient color i guess for this the white is still better white is better for it less of color right white is still okay for it so this is a glass morphism let me add some details to it. Alright, this is a glass morphism as you can see. Let's make this more. So, let's make it more clear. Let me add the profile from gallery. This 
source that is going on with my name. So next is going to write um, graphic designer and a coach. Okay, so alright. Next is let me give it. Let me write a shape. Get the shape also. So follow me on IG and Facebook. Or oh, follow me on IG, alright. Let's change the color for this shape. Follow me on IG at I blessing. Alright, so this is the glass morphism. I hope you love this. You can see how beautiful it is. Try to create yours also. And please like this video so that you won't miss out on valuable tips like this. And drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.